Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Jurassic Collectibles YouTube channel. So today we are taking a look at one of the brand new Lego Jurassic World sets for 2020. This is arguably the set I was most excited for. It's a very, very small set, but a really, really cool one. And it is set 75939, Dr. Wu's Lab, Baby Dinosaurs Breakout. So this set retails for $17.99 here in the United Kingdom. That is how much I paid for it. And we get a new version of Owen Grady. As you can see here, he has got a tan shirt on and a tranquilizer belt, a kind of bandolier thing. A baby ankylosaurus, which looks an awful lot like Bumpy, Dr. Henry Wu, and a baby Triceratops. And you can see that roster of characters there. Now this is a really, really cool build for Dr. Wu's lab. You can see we have got the kind of egg incubators like in Jurassic Park. And we have also got a new one by one brick with an amber mosquito print. So really, really fantastic looking uh, build for the, the laboratory here. You can see the figures up on top with that 1-1 one, one scale look at Dr. Wu. And then on the back of the set, you can see some of the play features. So you can see the baby Triceratops and Dr. Wu there, the baby Ankylosaurus, the back end of that kind of laboratory section, and the workbench with Owen. And then some of the play features along the top, the Triceratops can break out and the egg incubator can be opened. So really, really wonderful looking set, to be honest with you. I think this perfectly encapsulates kind of Jurassic World in a nutshell and Jurassic Park. So really impressed with the look of this from the box. Uh, let's open it up and see if it lives up to expectations when we get it all assembled. Okay, so here we have got Dr. Wu's lab out of the packaging and assembled. And I have to admit, this is a wonderful set. Before we get into this review, if you have any doubts on this set, they are not worth worrying about. Go out and buy this set. This is absolutely my favorite Jurassic World set to date. There we go, I've said it. Now it's time to show you why. So starting with figures, we have got a new version of Owen Grady. Hmm, you can see there. And you can see he's got this new tranquilizer belt, which looks really cool. If we can get that closer and get it to focus. We'll get there eventually. There we go. You can kind of see there. Sort of an orange vest look for him. He's got that going. He's got the Fallen Kingdom head. So both of those. as you can see there. Has got the back strap for the bandolier there. But all in all, a pretty nice unique version of Owen. Nothing to really write home about, but a cool version of the character nonetheless. And then we have got Henry Wu. And Henry is his Fallen Kingdom appearance. As you can see here, he's got the same torso print. Uh, so he has got some subtle back printing, but he has got a different facial expression. So the original one had more of a less kind of menacing grin. And you can see the back of the new one has got a kind of scared face where the dinosaurs have broken out, whereas the old one had a angry face. So it is really nice seeing Lego committing to um, giving us new face prints for Wu. They didn't have to do that, but it is really cool to see that they did. Then the things everybody will want this set for we have got the new baby Ankylosaurus, and just look at that. That print for the eyes, the colours on the back, it is gorgeous. A single hollow stud here, so you could potentially put something inside there if you were to connect a leash or something. And you can see it just looks great, and it has got anti-studs on the bottom, so you can actually place this on a studded surface. Really, really great looking new mini accessory and just for scale sake you can see compared to a minifigure this is quite a bulky little baby dinosaur as well and then the baby triceratops another really really gorgeous piece 
Um, I actually really like this because it is the same colour scheme as the Triceratops we got in Triceratops Rampage. So you can see these kind of look like they're meant to be together. They look really, really great together. Um, but yeah, really, really cool piece. You can see, if we get that in focus, lots of nice print for the eye there, the beak, some colouring, and you can actually remove this centrepiece to put a figure there. So if you were making a petting zoo mock, you could put something like a saddle on this and have a character actually, if we can get it to focus, riding the Triceratops there. So really, really cool additional feature that they didn't need to put in, but they chose to. And you can see simply gives you that kind of stud exposure. You just press it back into place and there is your baby Triceratops. So all in all, fantastic new piece. Again, anti-studs on the bottom. Really, really happy to have baby animals in the Lego Jurassic World line now. Okay, and then moving on, we have got Dr. Wu's desk. You can see a nice little build for this. This laptop piece here has got a sticker on the monitor and you can take that off, fold it up and take it off to one side. So you can see just there. We have then got a Petri disc uh, dish piece here. So you can see that, a tranquilizer gun, a bottle for the babies, this really nice one by one, which I want to try and get in focus. There we go, with a mosquito on it. I'll see if I can edit in a slightly, there we go. You can see that is incredible, incredible level of detail on this. Really, really cool piece, unique and very specific to Jurassic. And honestly, Lego did not need to do this. They have really gone above and beyond with Jurassic this year. And this piece is such a testimony to that. To have a little mosquito in amber kind of block is awesome. Now you can see the rest of the desk itself. Um, the desk has actually got quite an intricate build to it. So you can see that was the Petri di uh, Petri dish, even kind of an independent piece. But it's angled upwards, which is nice. And it's got this kind of white white uh, workstation almost area, which looks cool. Now you're meant to put one of these on the end, but you can see I've got two there. You do get two in uh, a spare one included with the set, so I thought, why not? And you can see the Petri dish can just go back underneath there and we can place that back in place like so. Really, really fantastic little side build. Again, lots of detail. Um, and then the main console area, we have got this area here, which is kind of classic Jurassic in its appearance. It's an egg incubator. You can open it up and you've got two eggs in there and you actually have got the robotic arm that can reach down and grab them. And these are on independent joints, so you can angle them in and out, which is incredible. So being able to kind of angle that in and out, get that different movement with it, get different poses set up is really, really cool. Now the rest of this area feels almost like a Jurassic World control room. You can see you've got this great graphic here that says power off, restricted area, kind of your traditional Jurassic World graphic. We've got this great graphic down here for the baby Ankylosaurus, which actually mimics the graphics we see in Dr. Wu's lab in Jurassic World. And um, the secret area of his lab, the screens that he has with dinosaurs like the Stegoceratops on it, I believe it is, um, look very similar to this. So very impressed with that level of detail. You can see we get a little yellow mug that goes just there. Again, an egg uh, kind of piece of detail there with the screen, nicely built in. And then information on the baby trike there as well. Then as we come around to this area, we have got this large screen here, which has got information on the fully grown adult. So that is again, this dinosaur from Triceratops Rampage. Really, really awesome to see this set tying in with their other products. And the idea here is we have got this piece of wool here. 
So you would take the baby Triceratops, it wants to get out of its cage, so you flick this little piece here and you knock that off, as you can see there. It's quite simple, you've got two jumpers here that, that let that happen quite smoothly. Just clip it back onto place and it's secured. And what I really like is with this wall, you can get it in loads of different poses. You can have it here, you can have it flush with the design of the consoles, or you can have it around the other side completely. And I think that's really, really good for display options. Now, when we do have it open, there is a little bit of detail on the other side. We have got, if I just get that back on, <laughs> there we go. We have got a little kind of sink area where I assume the baby Triceratops can get some water and then there is some food for it. And the very last thing, we have got this power area here with some great stickers. You can see some actual like almost torn through, chewed through cabling just there, a red and green light and some power switches. And that's kind of it, the rest is quite bog standard but it's a smooth you know it's not ugly looking you could get away with this perhaps being the inside of the triceratops paddock if you were to have it like that it looks like quite a nice little containment space and i think all in all it is a pretty pretty solid set so that's obviously the lab we'll bring the trike back in bring the table back in bring all of the other components back in obviously the baby ankylosaurus owen and Dr. Wu. Now there is some speculation that this baby Ankylosaurus may be meant to resemble Bumpy, who is an Ankylosaurus from the upcoming Camp Cretaceous short. Uh, I don't believe it is, I think it's just a coincidence more so than anything else, but if it is that is a cool detail nonetheless. But with that said, all in all, that has been your look at this set, and I think that it is hands down, like I said, the best Lego Jurassic World set that we have got to date. The amount of detail, the design on the graphics that really grounds them within a Jurassic World, the brand new sculpts for the baby dinosaurs, the great levels of detail with some of these components just really makes this a standout set. At only $17.99 this is an absolute steal and if you buy one set from the new wave I would make it this one. Thanks so much for watching this video guys, stay tuned for reviews on the other two sets very soon here on Jurassic Collectibles, and as always, take care and have a great week.